Welcome back. Time to go into the 814. We're so happy to be joined with Adam J. Crawford. He is a father, an artist, and a filmmaker right here in the 814. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Hey, this is, this is great. Thank you for having me. I know, and you wanted to give a little shout out to your daughter. Yes, I did. Hey, Felicity, Daddy's on TV. <laughs> if you are watching this right now, I just want you to know that I love you and Daddy's trying. Oh, that's really sweet. So you're based out of, is it the Dubois area? Yes, I am. Okay, great. So you've done short films in the past, but the event this weekend is going to be talking about Coliseum, the fight for mental health. Mm -hmm. And this is for anybody. You want anybody to come to this event. Yes, of course, uh, because what we want to do is we want to demonstrate that it doesn't matter like what kind of mental illness you are fighting, that everybody can make it through it. It all starts with a choice. Um, we are all facing our own mental illnesses. We are all facing our own obstacles. Mm -hmm. um, the slogan for the project in question is everyone is a victim, but few are heroes. It all starts with a choice and you could go from a victim to a hero just like oh. that. And you wrote this. Yes, I wrote it. Yes, and you also did have another short film that was filmed it partially in Dubois and mm -hmm. also Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And tell me about that just briefly. All right, just really briefly, that was uh, more of a trial and error film. Um, it's called A Blacktop Canvas. It was about a terrorist organization hiding among a basketball team. It's superheroes and mayhem. Um, we only had three weekends to film it in, so uh, we pulled it off. We won an award. Um, wow. it's, it's a fun film, but I, you know. Yeah, let's actually take a look at some of that. Run, run, run! Wow, and I saw the Dubois police cruiser there. Yeah, yeah, they were they were so about it. They were really? just like, we got nothing else to do, so let's go let's go down the boulevard with our lights on and just make a commotion. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I yeah. love it. Central PA is always supporting, you know, the 814, and that's yeah. great. Uh, so tell me about Coliseum. All right, so Coliseum is a very intimate story to me. Um, I wrote it coming out of a very tumultuous five months last year. Um, I lost two parents, mm -hmm. and um, I lost a godfather figure, um, heartbreak, depression, and I was even, you know, somewhat suicidal during that mm -hmm. time, too. Um, and coming out of it, I just wanted to, I wanted to be better, and I don't want anybody to feel the emotions that I felt during that time. So I started working on Coliseum. Um, basketball has always been something that helped me get through it. So the story in question is about two basketball players facing their inner demons, to become the answer to a, pr a pastor's prayer for community healing, fallen racial injustice. It's won me 10 awards wow. so far internationally, um, including Rome, uh, New York City, India, Singapore, Los Angeles. So we're making a splash. You know, people are listening. So yeah. this weekend, we want to take it a step further. Yeah, and you're going to have some of the actors speak. And mm -hmm. even Hollywood stuntman Chris J.P. Hahn is going to be there. Tell me a little bit about him and his role in the event. Well, Chris is, um, he is a stuntman that worked on the, uh, the Netflix movie. I don't know if you've heard of it, uh, Red Notice. Um, he's worked with Dwayne Johnson. He's worked with Bruce Willis. Wow. Um, he's going to show up and just kind of, uh, you know, give, kind of let people know that like your mentality is so important to pull off some of these stunts because you know people die during stunts and I yeah. actually think that like you know stunt work is very underrated but that's a whole new news segment we're not going to get into <laughs> that um, but like uh, yeah so he's just going to kind of be like you know you need to you need to have your mind right if you want to accomplish great things like you know I yeah. can only imagine the kind of mentality you need to have to stand next to the rock you know that would be great and just to even you know come see him Sunday morning and, and for him to talk and shed light on yeah what it's like to kind of be amongst some of the best in Hollywood and also having to be at your physical and mental peak, yep. I'm sure. Uh, tell me a little bit about the actors. We have some photos of them as well, who yes. will be also speaking. All right, this is John Broadway. He is from Los Angeles. He is a black a advocate. Um, and this is Nikisha Howard. She is local. Um, that is Erica Krenz. She is from Pittsburgh. And then we have... Oh, Fernando, my man. Um, he's actually the uh, he's actually the studio head. And then in the center there, we got Jared. He is our advertiser. There's me on the other side. That's the award I won in Rome. 
And then, um, yeah, I guess that's it. That's <laughs> awesome. So for viewers right now, so the event is early. So if you're mm -hmm. an early bird, Sunday, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. in Dubois, mm -hmm. Uh, what do you want to tell viewers? Why should they come on out? Well, I just think it would be a great opportunity for one because how many how many days do you see actors, especially local actors and filmmakers, um, putting their own goals kind of aside? Because you know every indie filmmaker, I feel like around here, it's all about getting famous. It's all about you know mm -hmm. th them and what they could do for themselves. But this Sunday, we want to take a second and just make sure the community has their mind right to make sure everybody's growing everyone's taking care of their mental illness because like you know how are you going to go out to war if you're not right at home you know what i'm saying yeah, you're right so that's what that's what we want to do so yeah come on out um we're going to read the script um the one that's won all the awards that we're, you wrote yes that i wrote um and then we're going to talk about you know our own mental struggles and um we're going to just uh take some pictures you know we got our contacts right up there on the screen um, so make sure that you follow our Facebook page. We are not defeated. And um, call CM Film at Gmail if you want to network or know anything more about the film. Just shoot us an email. Great, Adam J. Crawford. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we look forward to seeing the Coliseum once it's fully produced. Yeah, that'll be next year. We will have all the details on WeAreCentralPA.com. Thanks.